Oh, why, hello there. This is a little embarrassing, isn't it? My life isn't usually this crazy, but a long series of events seems to have transpired recently that's kind of thrown things out of whack. I'll get back to that in a second, though. Back here, these are my two co-workers slash best friends, Archer and Kepler. Yeah, I don't really know why they're called that either. My name's Spex, by the way, because, well, you know. Alrighty then, enough with all this exposition crap. The show must go on. It all started a few days ago. Hey, man, how have you been? I'm good, how are you? I'm pretty good. Hey, Kepler, what up? Oh, hey, how's, how's it going, going on, man? Guys? What's up? Hey. What's up? I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm just going to go eat some spaghetti. Oh, I'm so ready for Oh yeah, and her? That's Jackie. She's Archer's wife. Has been for about six months now. She was fond of palling around with us, like another one of the guys almost. Actually, we were friends for a while before they started dating. Grew up with her, in fact. She was always kind of the outcast of the girls at school. Too boyish, I guess. Back then, all the girls had that sort of high school philosophy of get girly or get out. So, she was always hanging out with us guys. We lost touch for a few years, ran into each other about a year or two ago, and the year's been kind to her. One thing led to another, and uh, bada bing, bada boom, Archer and her were together. Yeah, I can't say much for Archer's romantic know-how, though. The way he proposed was, well, unorthodox? Jacqueline Janine Burroughs, I love you more than anything in the world. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? I think my jaw is broken. Like I said, unorthodox. The spaghetti, dude. Great night. It's going to be a great night. Yes, uh, like my spaghetti. Oh man, Kepler, if there's one thing I love about you, it's your spaghetti. Mm. It's mm. great, thanks for inviting you us. You put cilantro in this? You put cilantro in this, <laughs> you dog. I know you like it. Cilantro is cilantro with my favorite. Oh hey, so when are you going to come down to the new place? You know, we, we, we just got the new couch moved in, everything's looking good, you know? Yeah, well, we'll stop by sometime. Yeah, oh. And hey boss, what's up? I'm really right now, I'm in the middle of dinner. Alright, I'll be there in 15. What are we planning on doing last week? Wait, I can tell you what we're planning right now. I just got a call from the boss. We gotta work. Oh. Alright, hold on. Alright, let's go. I believe we teleported on the wet bench. Yeah, that's really bad. I'm like all wet. I mean, yeah, that's your fault. Listen, all right. I figured that it wasn't gonna be wet. <laughs> hey, well, at least it's you know convenient nowadays. Yeah. Feels like feels like just yesterday you had to teleport place to place from your home teleportation system. Remember those? Yeah. We are living in the future. It's sort of like when we made that transition from like, from like just bread to sliced bread. Because mm. it was like before you had to go out and you had to buy a whole loaf yeah. of bread and then you had to slice it at home. Now there's like yeah. a whole less... Step. A good transition. In, in fact, speaking of the future, I've been reading this book lately. It's, it's by this guy years and years ago, like way back in like 2015. And this guy was writing about like how they thought the future was going to be back then, and I gotta tell you, a lot less chrome than there really is. Honestly, it's a disappointingly small amount of chrome. Yeah. Did they just like think we were gonna like run out of every other material except for chrome? To be completely honest, I'd be, I'd be okay with that. You guys ever heard of this guy called David Bowie? Oh yeah, of course, the oldies, man. That was the best. Like, I've, I've heard some of his songs before, but I didn't realize that they were all by the same guy. Oh, yeah. You run out with all, like, sources, like, resources, and, like, like, our planet was gonna die out and stuff, but you know what? Looking around, it's still pretty green. Yeah, we, we literally just watched it work. Yeah. Well, I think the switch to solar energy really, uh, turned all that around, you know? It's a jerk. Solar energy. That guy's a jerk. That's why we're killing him! Come on, tell us where the money is. I don't know what you're talking about. What money? Get up. He says. Yeah. What? Hey, what's this? Hey, where where are you guys going? What what is this? Get her.
Yes. All right. Look, I have to go. Boys, boys, how are my three favorite contract killers? Quick, how'd the job go? And him? That's our boss, Hector Frost. He's a real serious type. Like things done a certain way, clean and efficient. And those two palookas are his right and left hand goons. Jake and Joey Murdoch. Jake's the little brother. Yeah, uh, job went great, boss. Uh, Specs, he scanned the place, make sure we didn't leave any prints behind, and seems we're all clear. Now that is what I like to hear. Now, I had all your money wired to your accounts. And I need you here tomorrow for briefing. 6 a.m. Late start? <laughs> Alright, awesome. Guys, let's go. I have not stopped thinking about Burger Bungalow since we started this job. Wait. Specs. Kepler. How would you like to make some easy money on the side? One target? Easy execution? What do you say? You'll be profitable. Well, I'm pretty tired, but we could cram another one in tonight. Actually, Archer, I need you to say. But we always do jobs together. We work best that way. I need to talk to you about your pay. You've been doing exceptionally well this year, though. All right. Yeah, sure, I'll say. Excellent. Here's your contract. All right, well, Archer, I guess we'll see you later. All right, I'll... See you guys soon. I expect great things, boys. Start using the pistols. Like oh my jeez! Oh, now what? What are we? What, what are we gonna tell Archer? All right. Okay, idea. We don't. We don't tell Archer. I just killed his wife. Well, what are we? He's gonna, gonna kill me. What are we gonna do? Just walk up to Archer and be like, "Hey, sorry, we just offed your wife. You selling for cars and hot dogs next week?" We can't tell him like that. We can say like, "Hey, Archer, your wife okay. kind of had an accident involving my pistol and a laser." Okay. You know, I'm I'm gonna call him. Okay. This is Archer. Sorry, but I couldn't get to the phone right now. Please leave a message after the red guitar riff. All right, Archer, listen, this is Specs. Um, a, a job just went south. The boss is missing a lot of money. He thinks we did it. Um, we, you, you just need to get out of there right now, all right? All right, the teleporter's gonna need some time to recharge, so we can't just get out of here in an instant. We're gonna have to be really subtle about this. All right, no problem. I got your message. We gotta get out of here. I can't believe the boss would do that to us. All right, look, we gotta blow this popsicle stand and get out of Dodge. But first, we need to get Jackie. Oh no, we can't do that. The boss is gonna be running. I'm not leaving without her. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie! No, Archer, no. Archer, I'm so no. sorry. We were gonna tell you, but. We had to make sure you got him safely first. You knew about this? Uh, listen, Archer, we loved Jackie, but you need to know, it was Frost, he tricked us, he... He's the one you need to go out. How did you know about this? Archer, I'm... I'm sorry. Did you do this? You did this. Alright. We know Frost tricked us, okay? He's the one you should be going after. We can go get him, right now. Fine. But when we're done with this, you both are dead to me.
I'll take the little one. You guys take the big one. Consider this my resignation. that's the end of this little escapade of ours. Now before I end the picture show, I want to leave you with one last bit of advice. Um, live a life that you're proud of. One that you can look back on in the end and think, you know, I'm happy with how that turned out. And don't be like us, because as you can tell, we ain't good fellas. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom Take your protein pills and put your helmet on Ground control Nine. to Major Tom Eight. Seven Six Commencing Five. countdown engines on Check ignition and may God's love be with you.